50 Cent claims that Did He Do It will be released soon. Did He Do It? A documentary on the claims of sexual assault against Sean P. Diddy Combs will be published, 50 Cent has revealed. After two of Diddy's residences were raided by authorities yesterday, March 26, 50 released a teaser trailer for the documentary series. Diddy's residences in the Miami and Los Angeles regions were searched on Monday, March 25, ostensibly in relation to several ongoing investigations into sex trafficking. The series poster for Diddy Do It was uploaded on social media by 50 users, and it states that the film will be released soon. When this drop, it's going to break records, he said. There are currently no known release dates for the series. Five months after 50 initially alluded to the possibility of a Diddy documentary, the news breaks after a protracted dispute between the two. Diddy is being accused of several things, such as sexual assault and sex trafficking. This past month, record producer Rodney Jones filed a complaint. In his complaint, Jones said that in addition to throwing parties that were frequented by young females and sex workers, Diddy had sexually attacked him. Combs, he further said, forced him to approach and sleep with prostitutes. Diddy has called all of the charges pure fiction and refuted them all. According to the document, Combs used his connections to VIPs. Celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry to entice people to his notorious parties. In November 2023, Cassandra Cassie Ventura, his ex-partner, filed a lawsuit accusing him of rape and bodily abuse. At the time, Combs refuted Ventura's claims. Therefore, the case was swiftly dismissed when Combs and Ventura reached a mutual satisfaction settlement the next day. One woman claimed that Combs drugged and sexually assaulted her, while the other claimed that Combs and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall alternated in raping the plaintiff and her friend in 1990 or 1991, with Diddy allegedly turning violent days later. These new allegations were made a week after Ventura's lawsuit. In December, he refuted such accusations, claiming in a statement that, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I'll stand up for the truth, my family, and my name. He was also charged with gang rape of a 17-year-old female in the same month, an accusation he refutes. Hall refrained from commenting on the accusations right away. Since then, Combs' attorney has reacted to the law enforcement raids on the rapper's residences, calling them gross uses of military-level force and a witch hunt. The Department of Homeland Security oversaw the raids, which were conducted in connection with investigations spanning New York, Miami, and Los Angeles. CNN sources state that it is still unclear if Combs was the intended focus of the raid or whether the searches of his houses were a component of a bigger inquiry. Combs' lawyer Aaron Dyer has called the government effort a unprecedented ambush in response. He stated, Search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences yesterday, and there was a gross overuse of military-level force via variety. There is no justification for the disproportionate use of force and animosity shown by the police, nor for the treatment of his staff and children. Mr. Combs talked with and assisted with officials, but he was never placed under arrest. Contrary to rumors in the media, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been placed under arrest or had any restrictions placed on their travels. This unprecedented ambush is nothing more than a witch hunt predicated on baseless charges made in legal litigation, and when combined with a sophisticated, planned media presence, it causes an unwarranted rush to judgment against Mr. Combs. With regard to any of these allegations, no finding of criminal or civil liability has been made, Dyer said. Mr. Combs will fight every day to clear his name because he is innocent. In other news, Sean Diddy Combs' wealth has increased dramatically over the last 30 years, but it might quickly decline due to government raids on his properties and legal uncertainty. Homeland Security seized Sean Diddy Combs' houses in Miami and Los Angeles, California, only a few weeks after the most recent complaint surfaced, which accused the music industry magnate of sexual assault and trafficking. There are little details available about that inquiry, 
but it is based on claims made in the several lawsuits that have been brought against Combs in recent months, starting with accusations made by singer Cassie Ventura, Combs' former lover. Although Combs and his legal representative have refuted all the accusations made against him, it seemed that the harm to his image had already been done prior to the searches of his residences. Forbes valued Combs' net worth at $1 billion in 2022, but in January, their very profitable agreement with Diageo, the world's largest spirits company, ended. 